वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर माई सेल्फ पी एस पक्षी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ हॉर्स एंड कार्ट नाउ दीज प्रॉब्लम्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द मेडिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर नीट एंड आई आई टी एंड विट सेट ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट वट इज हॉर्स कार्ट प्रॉब्लम नाउ दैट इज द सिंपलेस्ट ऑफ डायग्राम ऑफ हॉर्स एंड कार्ट ओके सो इफ वी आर हैविंग ए हॉर्स एंड दैट इज हैविंग ए मास लेट्स अज्यूम दैट इज ए कैपिटल एम सो द वेट इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी वर्टिकली डाउनवर्ड एज एम जी and obviously uh, according to newton laws as well so if the weight is moving downward we are just having a normal direction r of that but always remember that the normal direction is not always opposite to the weight it is perpendicular to the surface of the body so if we are going to shift the body then the r the normal direction is always going to be perpendicular on the surface of the body always remember that now if let's assume that horse is uh, pushing the road backward which is the simplest case of newton third law as well so let's assume that it's pushing the road with force small f so obviously so uh, that is also get, uh, getting a normal direction here so we can just take a symbol of r here for the normal direction now that is the force f which is uh, Uh, pushed by the horse and that is going to be the normal direction of that force now you can take that weight always in the downward direction now if that normal direction is always at an angle then you can resolve that r into two components as well okay so one with sin theta one with cos theta and you always remember that the axis which is attached to the angle is always taken as cos theta component okay but we are not going into rectangular components here we are just mentioning the simplest case of horizontal component and the vertical um, uh, component now if r is an at an angle so you can also uh, have some kind of rectangular components that is going to be r cos theta that is going to be r sin theta if the angle is attached with the horizontal but we are just taking a simple case so these are the two rectangular components that is horizontal component that is vertical component now what they are uh, these components all about okay the vertical component is always balancing the weight of the horse okay so the if somebody slips okay so that is also the case of center of mass shifted toward the either side so that component always responsible uh, responsible for the balance of the horse and similarly that horizontal component is responsible for the further motion of the horse so now let's assume the horse is moving in that direction so we can take some separate cases of that so first of all motion of the horse now how we can take motion of horse if the motion of the horse is taken toward my right now so which means h should be greater than the tension t in the string which is in the backward direction due to the weight of the cart for further motion of horse so h should be greater than t so which means that is very simplest case so net force is always going to be equal to h minus t now what is the formula of net force according to newton second law so that is going to be f is equal to h minus t or you can take ma is equal to h minus t equation number 1 as you know f is going to be mass into acceleration so that is the simplest case of motion of horse now we will talk about the cart so let's assume the cart is having a a mass of small m so that is going to be the weight mg and obviously that is also going to have a some kind of reaction because we have already have the symbol of r so we will take a symbol of r dash here now f is going to be the frictional force between the tires of the or the wheels of the uh, cart and the road okay now that frictional force is always going to oppose the motion of the cart for motion of the cart now what are the necessary conditions right now so the net force obviously that cart is also moving in the 
forward direction the same direction as horse is moving so for that net force so which means t now t should be greater than the frictional force now we are going to take here f as the frictional force here so which means and you can take that as f1 okay so which means t is greater than f so which means net force is going to be equal to t minus f so that net force can be taken as f2 as well which is going to be t minus f now in this case tension should be greater than the frictional force and in the case of horse the horizontal component h is greater than the tension t because we are assuming that the horse and cart is moving in the direction toward my right so which means now these two are the two cases here so which means uh, because you can take f2 as equal to ma because they both are moving with the same acceleration so that can be taken as ma is equal to t minus f t minus f and that should be marked as equation number second now we have made two similar kind of equation one for the cart one for the horse and if you are going to take the acceleration of the horse and cart problem as a system so which mean you have to add those equations so adding equation one and two you will have your result now how we can add them so we are just adding left hand side on the left hand side and similarly h minus t is added as t minus f obviously the tension t in the string is now cancel out and now you can take acceleration as common that is m plus small m is now is equal to h minus f and the final formula for acceleration is going to be yes capital m plus small m and that is your basic formula for the acceleration of horse and cart problem okay you can solve all the cases of acceleration of horse and cart problem by that formula and what's in that formula h is going to be the horizontal component of the force which is produced by the horse to the road and minus the frictional force which is on the wheels of the cart and capital M is always going to be the mass of the horse and small m is going to be the mass of the cart with that formula you can solve all the numericals hope I am able to uh, teach you the right thing how we can uh, solve the problem of horse separately solve the problem of cart separately and the horse cart problem as a system so that is going to be the final formula for that so if you like that video so please subscribe our channel as well and thank you so much for watching that thank you